Howdy y'all, you got the Bulldog on the channel. Now, I get aggravated a little bit about having to wait for parts and, and unexpected things coming up delaying the job. It's winter time outside. We just got another two or three inches of snow last night. Why do the crazy people always get Florida and we're up here stuck with this? Burned that market, didn't I? But anyway, Every time I go to take something apart, you find something else wrong, something you're not expecting. And you can't price all that stuff in. You can't even you can't even plan for it, especially if it's a job that you've never done before. Uh, this part here, this is a quick connect on the emission system of that 08 F-250 that we found the fuel pump bad on. This has to be unhooked to come out in these empty spaces there is a plastic piece that pops into here and it has little tabs here and you squeeze on these tabs and it flexes it out so that you release this tab here's the problem this thing is old and uh, it the plastic gets hard, it doesn't bend. I was in there reaching there trying to squeeze on this. I had air up in here because these things fill up with dirt and I get to where there's nowhere for it to go when you squeeze it so it won't move. Uh, all the others were like that and I got them blew out on the backside. Problem is you have to do that while it's up in place and there's you have to unhook it to get it down. Anyway, I blew out the back side of this, but the stuff still wouldn't move. I mean, it was hard as a rock. So I reached up in there with suppliers, and I tried to pinch on it just a little bit, just try to wiggle it, get it to move. I didn't put any pressure on it. It just, yeah, yeah, and I heard crunch, and I looked, and it just caved in the sides of it. So now the parts that attach it are broken. And the pieces are still holding in the sides. What I ended up doing, it had a rubber hose on the back side of it that was clamped on with permanent clamps. And I just cut the hose. Dropped it down out of there. Got this pried off. This piece is not available separately. The dealer wanted $500 for the entire harness the emissions tubing from front of the tank to the back of the tank including all the wires that go in or all the lines that go in the frame uh, the solenoid that goes right on the back side of this yeah I thought well it's just a connector it's just a quick connector it's not that huge of a deal so we got searching and this is a heater line connector for something. I don't know what it is. But it's 5 eighths on the inside like this piece is. It's half inch on this side like this piece is. So, guess what it's got on it now? But I had to wait two days to get this. No one had it in stock. Customer called this morning on this truck. Where is it? You know, what's, what's the story on it? And I said, well, we're waiting on parts for this. Something unexpected. Oh, yeah, so you're doing the same thing we are. All of our trucks are down. We're waiting on stuff for everything. It's one of those deals. You can't even get pieces to fix something. It's terrible. That Ranger that I got the exhaust problem with, this is a yoke for a 3800 Pontiac. It's the right size pipe. It's, they didn't even tell us this, what the bolt spacing was. We figured we've got a big plate here. Even if we have to drill these out and widen the holes, we can just put a nut on the back side of it. This will go, it will work, except for it takes a donut here. The other side's a bell. We well, gotta have something to center this up. So I just dug around in our box that we keep all the extra parts in. Here we 
here we go. Except for a gap right there. So I'm gonna have to grind this down, that or find a different donut that has that pressed aluminum foil deal that'll center it up into this thing. It's just, it's just problems and you have to run into the problem, solve it, and then lock it away in the old file cabinet up here, which uh, my file cabinet's got some, it's got some rust holes in it. Mice have been in there chewing away. Some parts of it are just confetti and the tornado didn't help. So I, I got the information, but I, I can't put it anywhere. It's just, it's that's why some of us older mechanics are kind of kind of nutty because we probably have run into it. Don't remember where or what. I know I've got that part. That's the great thing about being out here where the buffalo screw the chickens is because you've got so much room to store stuff. But the problem with that is you store so much stuff that you don't know where it is. It took me half an hour to search. And just to find the box that these things were in. The struggle is real. But at least I've got an idea of what I'm going to do. Other parts that were ordered for it are not coming in yet. So I did get the fuel pump done. When we ordered one of these, we ordered two. They had two available. Got two. So for next time, here it is. Here it is. I won't know where it is next time. I'll have to search for it for an hour or two. But anyway, it'll be here somewhere. I'll remember that. That's just how it is. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the little bell notification. Share it all around. Talk to you later.